Uh, Ali, I'm going to start with you. As an Israeli Arab, it's all, I, I'm always obsessed with identity and how people view themselves and how people on the outside view them. As an Israeli Arab, do you feel that you've hovered between two worlds? That you are on one hand an Israeli and looked upon by the rest of the Islamic and Arab world as kind of somebody who lives among the enemy? Um, and two, uh, do you see yourself as not being fully Israeli because you are Arab and you are Islamic and don't feel f that you're fully invested in a participatory way with the Israeli democracy? First of all, I think today everybody is um, obsessed with identity. Um, often people try to strengthen their identity by embracing some uh, sense of victimhood, which I go to the opposite side. And I think that hovering between the two worlds, as you call it, the Israeli and the Arab, is a privilege. It's not something that is a burden. And um, like I enjoy something that other Arabs in Arab countries don't enjoy, which is enriching yourself, your identity, and your culture with other culture that you share your, your lives with. And um, about what the, you said about the uh, Arabs who see me as an enemy, I think I couldn't, <laughs> I think I couldn't care less about their opinion. Because um, really, I, I really see myself as in a better place not, to be, not only because I'm in, in a democratic country that is developed, but also because I'm in this place that I can see a bigger picture because I see two sides, not only one. 